Okay, so first we're gonna take Urban Decay Primer Potion, and then I'm taking NYX's Jumbai Pencil and Yogurt, and I'm going to blend this in with my middle finger just to make the eyeshadows um, more vibrant. So now I'm taking all that glitters, putting that on the lid as well as in the crease. Now I'm taking Bust from my Urban Decay Book of Shadows Edition 4, I believe. I'm going to put this in my outer V and crease area to give definition and kind of spice it up a little bit. Now I'm using my blending brush, which is really important because you want the colors to be gradient and not harsh. Now I'm taking Zephyr um, from the same Book of Shadows and putting that under my brow bone. And then I'm taking my waterproof liquid liner in perversion and I'm going to make it a wing so um, just wing it up and this is really really in for fall and I know you guys want to be trendy so that is what we're going for so if my slow self can finish the wing already now I'm curling my lashes and I also applied mascara. Now I'm taking my MAC Refined Golden Bronzer, which is a bronzer I use for every look except one. So if I don't show it, that's what I used. Um, blending it um, down to my neck as well, just to contour my face and um, highlight a couple of areas. Now I'm doing the Plus Plus Blush Peach by CoverGirl. Putting that on my cheeks with a Duo Fiber brush and melting it in with my fingers just to make it last longer. Now I'm taking Soft Nude by Revlon, um, I think it's a color burst, yeah, and at first this color looks bad, but that's why I'm, you know, making those faces. So, now I'm going to show you how to kind of make it look better, so, I have my Revlon Lip Gloss and Crystal Lilac. And I'm going to put that over top of it, and for some reason it just makes it so much better. So that's all you do for that look. Now we're on to the Bold Yet Bare Day. So I'm going to prime my eyes and using Revlon, not just Nude Cream Shadows, and that champagne color with my ring finger. I'm going to put this all over my lid as a base for the eyeshadows. Now I'm taking that matte white to highlight the brow bone um, as well as using it as a base. Bronze below it and the color I just pointed to and I'm going to put that on my lid. Now taking NYX's Vanilla Sky, I'm also going to use the same brush and put that under my brow bone as well as on the inner corner. Now I'm taking Rich Ground Fluid Line by MAC and I'm going to just line my eyes really simple with this. Um, as well as taking it into the inner corner. So this is a look where I don't use Refined Golden, and I'm just using my Rimmel Matte Bronzer in Sunlight, and I'm just putting that in the three E areas to contour my face. Now I'm taking NARS's Deep Throat, and I'm going to apply that to my apples and my cheeks up to my temples. Now I'm taking Bliss, and this is from Stila, and I'm just going to apply that to my lips. And that is all for this look. Now onto the dramatic fall day. And this is probably one of my favorite ones, so I've already primed my eyes. And I can, now I'm taking Stila Smudgepot and Kitten. And my Wet n Wild Vanity Eyes palette. Taking the creamish white reflective color, putting that on the first half of the lid to really brighten up that inner corner. And then I'm going to take the golden color, which just reminds me so much of fall, and putting it on the lid. And taking that darkest brown color, and I'm going to put that on the outer corner. And all these colors work so, so, so well together, so I love it. Now, blending is really important because we have a cream, a gold, and that color, so you really want it to be gradient. Now, I'm taking 24-7 Glider and Eye Pencil and Whiskey. I'm going to just blind my eyes really simply with that. And I'm going to smudge it out with my Eagle Tools brush, or whatever brush you have will work, just to make it a little bit softer and kind of smokier. 
Now I'm going to apply Colossal Volume Mascara. Um, I already have mascara on, so it's kind of pointless, but now I'm taking that same brown color we put in our crease to put on our lower lash line to kind of give more definition to the lower lash line. Now I'm going to take that cream color, and I really like this for a highlight, so that's where we are putting it. And that's all we're going to do for the eyes. Now I'm showing you my shirt because it was a volleyball shirt. And now I'm taking Tickled Pink by e.l.f. and I'm going to apply that to my cheeks. And this is really, really, really pretty. It's really nice and natural to counteract kind of the more dramatic eyes. And then NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss on my lips in beige, which is way off so don't listen to them. And that's all you do. Now for a special day for the colorful fun look. I've already primed my eyes, now I'm going to put a nude base under my brows and in the inner corner. I'm taking NARS Bateau Ivor and I'm going to put that on my lid with that really attractive face. And then I'm going to blend out any harsh lines so that the colors blend nicely together in the end and then you're going to use a pencil brush and getting just on the end the shadow so that you have a really precise application to the outer corner. Then I'm going to blend that out and just you know make the colors look more in symphony. Then I'm taking my angled shadow brush and this matte color from Coverco Country Woods palette and using that as a highlight which is a really good highlight color. I'm taking Maybelline Line Stiletto and I'm just going to line my eyes really simply with that. Now I'm taking the Dream Mousse Blush in Peach Satin from Maybelline. I'm going to put that on my cheeks. It's really simple. Um, and then I'm going to put over top of it a blush from the 10 Blush Palette by Coastal Scents. There's that peach color just to seal in the color all day um, so that you have colors that work nicely together. Bobbi Brown Nectar 6 Lip Gloss in that crazy brush, but yeah. And that is all you do for this look. Now the Dramatic Day, just the last one. I'm just going to use the um, Urban Decay Primer Potion in Sin and NYX Pencil and Cottage Cheese on the inner corner. Using Dazzle Light from MAC just on all over my lid. And then taking Satin Taupe and putting that in my crease. And these colors work really well together. And, and then I'm going to go ahead and blend that out, which is crucial for every single look, so that they don't look harsh. And then taking that same highlight color, and then taking Graphite Shimmer Ink from Bobbi Brown Liner, and I'm using the Slanted Sonia Kashuk um, Eyeliner Brush. I'm just lining my eyes really simply, and then curling my lashes and applying mascara. Then taking my Autumn Catwalk Blush, hello it says Autumn in it, it was meant to be. Then you're going to put that on your cheeks and I love that color, it's so gorgeous. Now taking Berry Hot, I just wanted to say that, and putting that on my lips. And that is all you do, thanks for watching.